When you think of culture, what comes to mind? Some might say that culture is a group of ideas that defy a group of people, things such as political or economic systems. Others might say that culture refers to a more humane aspect of life, things such as mannerisms and body language and how people use their hands. A great example of this is how Bulgarians would nod their head up and down to signal a no and side to side to imply a yes, contrary to the rest of the world. But I want you to take that idea that you've imagined of culture and to imagine that it doesn't exist anymore. No more common language, no more mannerisms, nothing. How would you feel? Would you be upset? Would you be disappointed? Would you mourn the loss of your identity? I came here today to do two things. Firstly, I want to emphasize the importance of culture and language. And also, I want to emphasize the importance of preserving it and how to preserve it. Currently, linguists estimate that there are around 6,000 spoken languages on planet Earth. But by the end of the 22nd century, there will only be 100 forms of communication. You may wonder, well, why does that matter? Why should I care if languages are dying? Well, let's not imagine that there's going to be 100 languages, but rather just one. And let's say that one language is Vietnamese. So from tomorrow, everyone will be speaking Vietnamese. How, how would you feel? You would both lose your mo mother tongue, but you would also lose something way more important. You would lose the untranslatable words of other languages. Yes, everyone will be able to talk to one another. You can now talk to someone from China or someone from Brazil, but what you lose is the ability to emphasize and to say peak your emotions. For example, take the word harai, a Welsh word which refers to a homesickness for a home which you cannot return to. Notice how there's no real clear-cut synonym for this word in English, and even the definition which I gave isn't the most accurate or the best. This is because no word quite exists to encapsulate this emotion, except for the word arrive in Welsh. And by losing the Welsh language, we would lose this word and a lot of other words which are very important to the Welsh people. Another example can be seen in Bulgarian. Take the famous idiom, Gwadna Mechka Kurone Grai, which literally translates to a hungry bear doesn't dance folklore dances. It was used quite literally in the beginning, as circus performers would need to feed their bears to make them dance, but now has a very figurative meaning in that it is used to say you can't ask for a favor without getting something back in return. These are just two phrases and two ways of expressing yourself that have arise in different cultures, and they show the importance of culture. They show how people have developed and the emotions which they have experienced. And the importance of language is that it's a way to express your emotions and your circumstances. And for this reason, the preservation of language is very important. But like language, culture is also very important to be preserved. And in fact, culture Language is just a subset of culture. Uh, like language, culture also varies across the world. So the culture in Bulgaria would be much different than that of South America, and that's what makes culture beautiful. And the application of culture is also important because in different contexts, you would learn different things that you can apply in, in the modern life. Take, for example, the Kogi people of Colombia. The Kogi people have a very deep and spiritual connection with the planet Earth. They believe that the Earth is a being like you and I, and for the past five, six hundred years, they have been treating the Earth with the utmost respect. Well, given the, given, given the current circumstances, namely the climate crisis, the Kogi people have begun to travel across the globe, giving speeches and lecturers to the general public about how their knowledge can be used to preserve the Earth. Another example can be seen in modern medicine. The famous drug artemisinin, used to treat malaria, the most deadly disease of all time, actually stems from an ancient Chinese practice. These are just two examples of how ancient culture and indigenous knowledge, which has been developed over countless years, can be readily applied in the modern day. And also why culture is important, and the preservation of culture is important in the modern day as well. But the importance of culture and language are not just in terms of application. Culture and language also defy who you are. They shape your individuality, and as well as your identity. And that stems, and this leads us to the problem of our country, 
Bulgaria. Bulgaria has one of the fastest populations of the world. Over the past 10 years, the population of Bulgaria has decreased by 11.5%. And the worst part is that it's largely due to emigration, which means that people are voluntarily leaving Bulgaria. And this is bad because emigration leads to a demise of culture. It leads to this generational break where people stop passing down their culture for future generations. And I know this because I've been a part of this generational break. I, for one, was born in the United States, and there, although my parents would speak to me in Bulgarian, I would choose to respond in English as it was simply easier for me. I knew the language better. But my parents were keen on teaching me Bulgarian. So they signed me up for a Bulgarian school, where I would go to learn to read and write and speak Bulgarian, and eventually, their plan worked. I learned the Bulgarian culture, I learned the identity of Bulgarians, and I was able to better interact with Bulgarian people. But not a lot of people of the same origin as that of I, namely immigrant parents in the US, had access to these uh, places to connect with their heritage and their past, and they often didn't know much about their culture. And this is when this generational break occurs because they can no longer pass on the ideas of the past to the future. And hence, a culture, when this occurs enough times, a culture can very well die. And I am here to try to stop this. So it's no easy feat to do this. Culture is not the easiest thing to preserve, but now it's easier to do it than ever in the past. By using modern technology in the form of computers and AI, researchers are now able to better harness the ideas of a given culture. Certain branches of AI can take a given artifact and identify the key aspects of it, the important parts of the culture and the ideas of the people. Additionally, given that a tongue has a script, AI can be used to determine the key aspects of the language as well. And if there's a translation, there's a chance that the computers will be able to make a dictionary for the words of that language. In this way, researchers can harness and store culture for application in the future. But what researchers cannot do is apply culture uh, to store the identity of the people. You cannot store the way someone thinks. You cannot store the mannerisms and the body language of the people. For this reason, each one of you has the responsibility and the obligation to preserve the knowledge of the past for the future. You have the obligation to pass on your culture and your identity to the people of the future. And I believe that if everyone does their part in this, and everyone passes on their culture, whether that be through public institutions, schooling, or just teaching it at home, we will be able to preserve not only the Bulgarian culture, but the culture of everyone. The most important thing, though, is to begin this process now. Although 6,000 languages do exist, 1,500 of them are endangered of being extinct. And every two weeks, the last known speaker of an indigenous language will die, and with them will die the knowledge and the ideas of the people before them. For this reason, by beginning now and storing and harnessing all these languages and cultures and ideas, we can use their ideas and culture to apply it and analyze it in the future. Thank you.